Selfish, selfish, selfish. Where's the Marlin? Marlin, Marlin, Marlin. Oh God. Marlin, Marlin. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Marlin. Yeah, yeah, I have a Marlin on. I'm serious, I'm getting towed out. Uh, it jumped like five times, but I couldn't tell uh, if it was a sail or a marlin, but it is a billfish and it's very big. Okay, where are you at, bud? Do you want me to see if I can get Adrian headed your way? Uh, <laughs> that's probably a good idea. I'm outside of Vaca in 150 feet. Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh, that's a marlin. That's a marlin. <laughs> Black marlin, baby. Oh, he's close. Oh, he's close. Oh my god. It is a marlin, it is a marlin, I'm close to it. This is Adam Fisk from Los Buzos, hooked up to a big black marlin. Uh, looks like it's got to be over 300 pounds, pretty big one. Uh, pretty big one for a kayak at least. Uh, he's jumped 10 or more times, been on him close to an hour now, still getting towed out. He just took a real long series of jumps. Uh, hooked him on a big eye trevally and I think I was in 120 feet. I was jigging, uh, jigging the bottom with a live bait out too. Uh, I got a broom tail and then uh, I was letting go of Jack Craval and this thing ate. Started jumping right when it ate the bait. Absolutely crazy. Not much I can do now, but hang on tight. Keep this line tight. Keep that rod bent. Panga showed up. Kevin and Jesse. I think Adriano was on the Panga. Just as backup <laughs> they had plenty of time to launch i think uh, i think i'm still gonna be hooked up for a while but uh it would have been a great time to eat my oatmeal but uh, i already dug in before i hooked up would have been a tasty snack when i'm getting towed out oh. Oh, God. Dude. there he is black marlin on those boozos baby How was that show, boys? <laughs> oh, man. Well over an hour into the fight now. Still not giving up, but he is close. I get him real close, and then he takes off, doing a bunch of jumps, and then he just goes slow, tells me how slow, and I can creep up to him. Now he's staying a little deep. Uh, I hooked him in 120 feet. And now we're in 303. He's telling me, yeah, we're about to be on that big ledge. It's a ledge that drops to 1,000 feet out here. Woo! We are going. Take a line, slow and steady. Oh. Big, big fish. the Jackson Cusa. It's a pretty nice kayak. I put the uh, prop up so it's out of the way completely and the rudder won't get snagged. There's nothing this fish can catch me on. I love that about this kayak. He's speeding up. Tang is keeping his distance so when this thing goes on goes for a run he won't get, Tango won't get between me and the fish. Coming up again. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. He might jump. 
Oh man, he's close, he's close, he's close. I hope he's tired. I don't know if I want him to jump. Going back and forth. Only about 20 feet away. I might have that leader soon. Oh man. Oh, it's coming. There he is. Oh, he ain't done yet. He ain't done yet, that's for sure. There's my braid. Wow. We are, I don't know, five hours into the fight. <laughs> Got him about 30 feet away from the kayak and then he started running again, jumping like crazy. pressure on him now. Sun's going down. I'm gonna try to land him before the sun goes down. It's gonna be close I think. I don't like putting this much pressure on him but gotta do it. Got him in low gear. The big hook, a 100 pound fluorocarbon, 80 pound main line, 18-0 circle hook. Should be good but I don't like, I still don't like putting as much pressure on fish. Got to brace it on both knees now. Both knees are pretty bruised up from the rod, but I'm putting all the pressure from the rod on my knees. Right here, right here. So after a little over a four hour fight, 
I was able to get the marlin right up next to the kayak, maybe about three to four feet away. Got the leader to the rod tip, which is a catch. And I really didn't want to fight it too much longer than that. If I was to fight it long enough to tire it out enough to safely handle at the kayak, uh, it just would have been too tired, too close to death, and we did not want to harm this fish. So after I got that leader, it took a dive. I maxed the drag out, popped him off. We all celebrated. It was an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, we actually have Marlin here year round. We get them in January. We've hooked them in January, hooked them in June, seen a ton in April, almost every day. Um, and I cannot wait for a guest here at Los Buzos to get a Marlin of their own. If you want to book a trip, go to losbuzos.com. And in the meantime, check us out on YouTube. Hope to see you soon.